To the tragic detriment of both men, Jacob and Esau believed that blessings and birthrights were by nature both limited in number and indivisible. Only one of the brothers in their minds could be a dweller of tents, only one of them a man of the field. Only one could be his father's favorite and only one his mother's. Only one could receive the birthright, only one could receive the sought after blessing. Their competitive and destructive relationship was based on the corrosive idea that whatever one brother had, the other could not. They needed to box each other out for fear of becoming the brother left out. It was inconceivable to any of the family, Isaac, Rebecca, Esau, and Jacob, or even God, that maybe, just maybe, life, love, and blessing need not be limited to only one of them. Nowhere does the biblical text allow for the possibility that when it comes to the things in life that really matter, the calculus of family dynamics could occur in an altogether different, more generous way. Israel Zangwill once wrote, it takes two men to make one brother. As our biblical forebears learn the hard way, in order to be the brothers and sisters we want to be, we must learn that a blessing is not a zero-sum game. May we all merit the greatest and truest expression of thanks Jews know, the ability to say, how good and how pleasant it is when siblings dwell together in peace. See you in shul.